For many years, the Tesla Semi felt like a promise that never fully arrived. Even though it was driven in real-world conditions, it always seemed stuck in a prototype phase. Only a small number of Tesla's close partners were allowed to operate it, and that limited exposure kept the wider trucking industry skeptical. Fleet owners watched from a distance, drivers waited, and competitors dismissed it as a tech demo rather than a serious commercial truck. The semi was real, but it did not yet live the tough daily life of a working class 8 truck. The problem was not performance. The problem was scale and routine. The Tesla Semi was not running non-stop commercial routes day after day. It was not fully exposed to tight delivery windows, unpredictable weather, driver fatigue, and the brutal economics of freight transport. Until a truck proves itself under those conditions, it will never earn trust. Tesla knew this, and for a long time, they stayed quiet. Now that silence has ended. Things are changing rapidly and they are changing faster than most people expected. Tesla has now made it clear that the Semi is no longer an experiment, or a side project. It is moving into the center of Tesla's future plans, and the timing is critical. The trucking industry is under pressure like never before. Fuel costs are unstable, maintenance expenses are rising, driver shortages continue, and regulations are getting stricter. Tesla believes this moment is perfect for a major shift. One of the most surprising revelations came directly from Tesla engineers. The newest version of the Semi uses less battery energy than the earlier pilot trucks, yet it delivers the same driving range. That sounds almost impossible, but the explanation is simple. Tesla has focused heavily on efficiency. Through aerodynamic changes, drivetrain optimization, and software tuning, Tesla has already achieved more than a 7% efficiency improvement. And according to internal testing, that number is still climbing. This is not marketing talk. In heavy-duty trucking, even a small efficiency gain can save tens of thousands of dollars per year per vehicle. Tesla understands that trucking companies do not buy dreams. They buy numbers. At Tesla's 2025 annual shareholders meeting, the company finally revealed what many had been waiting for. On stage was the current Tesla Semi and right next to it was the new 2026 version. This was not a concept, not a rendering, and not a future idea. This was the production intent semi. Elon Musk confirmed that the Tesla Semi will be one of three core Tesla products entering mass production next year. That statement alone changed how investors and industry insiders viewed the truck. Musk explained that the Semi has been redesigned with three priorities in mind. First, higher efficiency. Second, increased payload capacity. Third, full readiness for autonomous driving. These were not small tweaks. The truck received a redesigned chassis, new lighting elements, refined aerodynamics, and several structural improvements aimed at durability and long-term commercial use. Tesla also confirmed that pricing will be adjusted, and early signals suggest it will be lower than many people expected. That announcement sent a clear message. Tesla is no longer asking the trucking industry to wait. Tesla is telling them to get ready. So now the real questions begin. How efficient is the new Tesla Semi Gen 2 in daily operation? Can Tesla truly produce 50,000 trucks per year? And does this electric truck actually deliver the smooth, quiet, low-stress driving experience that early drivers keep talking about? Welcome to Future Drive Hub, where we break down what matters, without hype and without shortcuts. Before we go further, take a moment and hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications as well, because the next update is coming very soon. If you want to stay ahead of the biggest changes in electric vehicles, autonomy, and future transport, subscribing now is the smartest move. Now let's continue. Tesla has already placed multiple semi-trucks into real-world service. PepsiCo was one of the earliest partners, using the semi to haul heavy loads on fixed routes. These were not short test drives. These trucks were pulling full trailers, climbing hills, descending long grades, and operating under real commercial demands. Tesla collected enormous amounts of data from these operations, quietly improving the truck behind the scenes. Recently, another major name joined the list. 
DHL officially took delivery of its first Tesla Semi after completing its own internal trials. This is important because DHL does not take risks lightly. The company evaluates vehicles based on reliability, efficiency, uptime, and total cost of ownership. Their decision to move forward signals growing confidence that the Semi is finally reaching maturity. Still, Tesla is not claiming victory yet. Heavy-duty trucks must prove themselves over years, not months. Real trust comes from time, miles, and consistent performance. But what Tesla has confirmed is this. The semi that will go on sale in early 2026 is not a prototype. It is the first fully commercial version of the truck, designed to be sold not just to corporations, but also to individual buyers. The newly unveiled design shows how seriously Tesla has taken feedback from earlier versions. Aerodynamics have been refined to reduce drag. The interior has been improved to support long driving hours. The technology stack has been upgraded to support future autonomy features. These changes may seem subtle at first glance, but in commercial trucking, details matter. One of the most noticeable changes is the front end. The headlights have been redesigned to improve visibility while consuming less energy. The front bumper has been simplified making it easier and cheaper to repair after minor impacts. The cabin roof has been smoothed, reducing air resistance at highway speeds. The windshield is now shorter and more compact, fixing a real-world problem from the original 2017 design, which looked futuristic but proved impractical in daily use. Tesla confirmed that these changes reduce the drag coefficient to just 0.33. For a Class 8 truck, this is an incredible achievement. The earlier version already had a drag coefficient of 0.36, which was far better than most diesel trucks. This further reduction delivers an estimated 5 to 8 percent increase in energy efficiency. Over hundreds of thousands of miles, that difference is massive. The chassis has also been completely re-engineered. Tesla reduced weight without sacrificing strength. The curb weight now sits under 23,000 pounds which directly increases payload capacity. In trucking, payload is money. Every extra pound of cargo generates revenue. Tesla understands that performance alone does not sell trucks. Profitability does. This brings us to one of the most important changes. The Tesla Semi now rolling out of the factory is no longer an experimental vehicle. These are production-scale trucks built using manufacturing processes designed for volume. They are fundamentally different from the hand-built or low-volume units used in earlier testing programs. As Tesla moves from experimental builds to real production, the technology inside the semi becomes even more important. One of the biggest questions fleet owners ask is about the battery. Tesla has now made its strategy very clear. Instead of forcing one expensive solution on everyone, the semi will be offered in two distinct configurations, each designed for different types of work. The long-range version of the Tesla Semi uses Tesla's Tablus 4680 battery cells. These cells are designed for high energy density and stable power output, even when the truck is fully loaded and driving at highway speeds for long periods. This version is aimed at long-haul routes where range and consistency matter more than anything else. The battery pack is integrated into the truck's structure, improving both safety and efficiency. The short-range version takes a different approach. It uses LFB batteries, which are known for their durability, lower cost, and long cycle life. While LFB batteries store less energy per pound, they are ideal for urban and regional routes where trucks travel between 100 and 200 miles per day and return to a depot at night. This version is expected to be significantly cheaper, making it attractive for city logistics, ports, and distribution centers. Charging is another area where Tesla focused heavily on real-world practicality. The Tesla Semi supports ultra-fast charging at up to 1.2 MW using Tesla's Mega Charger system. This is not a regular supercharger. These chargers are purpose-built for heavy-duty trucks, with larger connectors and advanced cooling systems. In real operation, the Semi can recharge in roughly 30 to 40 minutes, which aligns closely with mandatory driver rest brakes. That means charging does not disrupt schedules. Now let's talk about autonomy, because this is where Tesla believes the real revolution will happen. 
The Semi has been designed around Tesla's full self-driving system from the very beginning. New camera placements above the front wheel arches, along the sides, and around the cabin provide improved visibility for both human drivers and the autonomous system. Tesla's goal is clear. Once regulations allow it, the Semi should be able to operate with minimal human intervention. If that happens, the impact on the trucking industry will be enormous. Trucks could operate nearly around the clock. Labor costs would drop. Delivery times would shrink. Safety would improve as fatigue-related accidents decline. This is why Elon Musk often says autonomy matters even more than electrification in the long run. Of course, no discussion about the Tesla Semi is complete without talking about price. The Semi is not cheap, and Tesla is not pretending that it is. Reports suggest that the 500-mile version could be priced around $200,000. Tesla has not officially confirmed this number, but it has also not denied it. The short-range LFP version is expected to start closer to $160,000, depending on configuration. To understand whether that price makes sense, you have to look beyond the purchase cost. According to industry data, an average Class 8 diesel truck costs around $180,000. Many electric trucks from other manufacturers cost well over $400,000. In that context, the Tesla Semi sits in a very competitive position. Operating costs are where the Semi really changes the math. Tesla estimates that fueling an electric Semi costs roughly half as much as fueling a diesel truck. Over three years, those fuel savings alone could reach up to $150,000. Maintenance costs are also far lower. Diesel engines are complex machines with hundreds of moving parts. Electric drivetrains are much simpler, with fewer components that wear out or fail. There are no oil changes, fewer filters, and regenerative braking dramatically reduces brake wear. Studies suggest that maintenance costs for electric trucks are 40 to 60 percent lower than for diesel trucks. While diesel fleets often spend between $20,000 and $30,000 per year on maintenance, Electric trucks typically stay closer to $8,000 to $15,000. The regenerative braking system on the Tesla Semi deserves special attention. During downhill driving, the truck can recover a massive amount of energy, sometimes nearly matching the energy used during normal driving. This not only extends range but also reduces wear on traditional braking components, improving safety and reducing maintenance. Now let's talk about production because this is where skepticism has always existed. Tesla's dedicated semi-factory near Gigafactory, Nevada is rapidly approaching operational readiness. Major construction is complete. Production equipment is being installed. Mega charger stations have already been placed on-site for testing and logistics operations. Industrial cooling systems on the roof strongly suggest the paint shop is nearly ready. One large gantry crane remains in place indicating that additional heavy stamping equipment is still being installed. This supports the idea that Tesla plans to manufacture major chassis components in-house rather than relying on outside suppliers. Inside the factory, multiple production lines are being prepared to run in parallel. Tesla's target is bold. An annual production rate of 50,000 semi-trucks. That breaks down to roughly 4,000 trucks per month, nearly 1,000 per week and close to 200 per day. These numbers sound extreme, especially when fewer than 500 semis exist today. But Tesla has achieved similar production ramps before, and this time, many of the previous bottlenecks are gone. Tesla now has a dedicated factory, a stable battery supply, a simplified design, and years of real-world data. This is no longer a hand-built vehicle. It is a product designed for scale. Global expansion will not be simple. In Europe, regulations on vehicle width and length may require design changes. European markets prefer cab-over designs and sleeper cabs. Australia also has size regulations that could slow adoption. Tesla may need region-specific versions of the Semi to succeed internationally. Service infrastructure is another challenge. Established truck manufacturers already have massive service networks. Tesla will need to expand its support capabilities to meet the expectations of fleet customers. However, Tesla argues that electric trucks require less service overall, 
reducing the pressure on service centers. So where does this leave us? The Tesla Semi is no longer just a futuristic idea. It is becoming a real commercial product. It promises lower operating costs, better efficiency, reduced emissions, and the potential for autonomy. But with limited long-term real-world data, skepticism is still healthy. The real test will begin in 2026, when thousands of Tesla semis enter daily commercial service. That is when the trucking industry will decide whether this truck truly delivers on its promises. Now it's your turn. Do you believe the Tesla Semi is finally ready for mass adoption, or do you think it still has something to prove? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching Future Drive Hub. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next major Tesla update coming very soon. We'll see you in the next video.